One of the many new features and enhancements in Oracle eVisions Suite release 12.2.4 is the introduction of the HTML or order management HTML. Uh, what you see here is a simple homepage uh, that I changed and you can check uh, another videos on how to do this in 12.2.4 uh, but as part of the favorites I have orders uh, as an icon so I'm going to click on orders and that will take me to the new order management HTML screen. Is this uh, um, a mandatory change? No. You can still use uh, the same functionality in forms but this is something new that was introduced in order to make this uh, available in you know in mobiles and in, in tablets okay what we see here it's a, it's a, a new screen that for those who used to use and if you have uh, uh, the purchase workbench uh, it looks pretty similar to that so the first thing is we see two tabs orders and order lines uh, so we can do uh, search and actually we can do have views okay what we see here is view our views uh, of orders okay now this view that I have here it's a view that I created okay and this is because I'm working uh, closely I'm you know acting as a sales rep that is working actively with general technology this customer now on this view you see that I have other views okay open orders orders on hold and then book orders so I have the ability to select which view I want to see which view I want to have as default okay so let's take a quick look uh, personalize and how you know how this view works okay so by personalizing a view uh, I can definitely you know, start from a seated view okay uh, duplicate that view or create a brand new view so I'm gonna uh, click on update for this view that I have created okay which is open orders for general technology okay and you know the first is the name okay how many orders I'm gonna see on the first screen this will make faster okay in cases that you want to have you know multiple pages it will speed up uh, the you know the the, the screen uh, action. Um, the second is which columns I want to see, okay, uh, and the order that columns will be displayed. So I can select, you know, with all the available columns. The next is sorting. So I can sort whether it's by date, by order number, or I can select a, th a third sorting option, okay. Uh, then the last one is a query. So in this case, I set up a query to say when customer is general technology and close order is no so means open orders for general technology take into consideration and your DBAs will not be happy if you, if, if you start getting you know a, a lot of queries and within these queries you are setting out default so every time that the screen uh, will you know be um, uh, selected then it, it, it will run that query now the other aspect is you know the the rich table interactions and what you see you know we're going to see a lot here in this demo but you know first of all you know you see that you can there's a, an icon when I uh, stay on top of the title there's an icon that I can hide different columns I can sort the columns this sorting is the one that is already defined in the view okay and I have a, a pretty good view of what is there okay uh, now I'm gonna go and jump into uh, an order just to uh, get a sense of how an order looks like in OM HTML okay so I, I selected an order um, there's an option to do mass action on the selected order so if I select one or two I can do mass actions within these orders uh, uh, you know and these are the mass actions that I can do okay uh, but for now we're gonna check into this order okay so it is you know formatting the or the, the screen and uh, one of the things that you will see is you know a very clear uh, definition of you know the most important fields uh, in the order uh, 
we are going to have these, you know, uh, show more details, which will allow us to see, you know, flex fields and more information of the order, the header of the order. And then at the bottom, uh, we're going to have all the product and services, okay, the lines, shipping, billing, install base, and attachment uh, uh, as part of uh, these, um, uh, the lines section and other information. Uh, another aspect of um, you know the 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 age which age grid it's the horizontal scrolling in the past we needed to scroll the entire window now we have resizing so we can just scroll this section of you know the 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 grid so that's great in terms of user experience we see the top and we don't have to move you know all the way to the right and, and lose the header uh, and the header information on that. Since we're on this order, we can take actions of this order. So we will select actions, we'll say, okay, what do we want to do? Book, apply host, delete, copy that order, we'll click on, hold, on go. Uh, something important is we'll have this new button called edit that will allow us, by clicking here, will allow us to edit the fields and that edit will be based on the security and the restrictions uh, on the status of the order and the different aspects of the setups and configuration that we have done uh, previously on the order management setup. So with this, I hope you, you have a sneak peek of what is new in order management HTML. One of the new features of eBusiness Suite release 12.2.4.